Today, demonstrators rallied for immigrant rights in Gwinnett County. They're marching from Gainesville to Atlanta. Now, they're opposing a plan to use sheriff deputies to help deport undocumented immigrants. CBS Atlanta's Christopher King is live in Norcross. Christopher? Bill, we're on Buford Highway right near Jimmy Carter. Immigrants from all over Central America come to shop at this strip mall. Now, people who shop here, along with immigrants' rights groups, say a plan by Gwinnett County to use deputies to help flag down undocumented immigrants who committed crimes will unfairly target Latinos and lead to racial profiling. They're marching to the steady drumbeat of the call for justice for immigrants. These pictures from CBS Atlanta's Sky Eye show a line of dozens of protesters from local churches. They're marching all this week in what they've dubbed a pilgrimage for immigrants' rights. Mantento instancia extranjero. They held a prayer vigil outside the Gwinnett County Sheriff's Department in Lawrenceville at the center of the immigration debate here in Metro Atlanta. County officials have approved a $1 million plan to hire 18 new sheriff deputies and grant them the power to flag down undocumented immigrants who've committed crimes and hold them for deportation. I think it's a bad idea. Ariana Dominguez migrated from Mexico to Georgia 10 years ago. She says she works hard and obeys the law. Dominguez, like these other ralliers here, say that policy 287G targets not just hardened criminals, but hardworking immigrants in general and Latinos in particular. They're trying to veil under that. They want to deport all immigrants, not just the ones that are criminals. We have a terrible problem with illegal immigrants in Gwinnett County and drugs that come about with these people being here. Sheriff Butch Conway says undocumented immigrants, largely from Latin American countries, are fueling much of the drug and gang-related violence in the county. Does it lead to racial profiling? No, absolutely not. These people aren't checked unless they're arrested and brought to the county jail. Now, that march began yesterday in Gainesville. It'll make its way through Gwinnett and Cobb counties and end up in Atlanta on Friday. We're live in Norcross. Christopher King, CBS Atlanta News.